This will be George Santos, Madison Cawthorn, and uh, what a drag uh, this might be. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, George Santos, or whatever his name is, has certainly uh, been in the news. So I uh, thought it's worth a little diversion, a little extra video this week. I'll throw this up and uh, see what the cards tell us about George and, and maybe a few cards on uh, Madison Cawthorn. You know, he was caught in uh, that uh, drag. I'm sure it was just innocent uh, play at Vegas. I've been to one of those clubs in Vegas where they kind of dress you up and put you on stage. Uh, I didn't get into dress, though. You do have a choice. So that's what the uh, we'll do, and we'll see uh, what the cards have to say. So this video will be probably kind of quick. Um, so who's heard of Katara Ravache? That is the drag name that George Santos used in 2006 in his home country of Brazil when he was in his uh, late teens, maybe early 20s. Uh, I have to do the math. But what's the point? Because you don't really know how old he is anyway, because he's lied about everything. So, Katara Ravache. Interesting. You know, I tried to look up that name to see what does it, does it mean something in, in Portuguese, which is, of course, what they speak in Brazil or, or French or some other language. And it doesn't have any meaning other than there was a character in Sherlock Holmes, one of the Sherlock Holmes uh, um, stories called Claude uh, Ravashi, if that's the correct pronunciation, spelled the same way, who is a terrorist. So, interesting connection. So I thought we'd do a few cards on uh, George, Katara, Anthony, pick a name. And, uh, and then also Madison Cawthorn, you know, on his going away speech when he finished in Congress, I'm reading off to the side here, he, um, he urged men to reclaim their masculinity, which is interesting since he's seen in a uh, photograph in apparently Vegas in his wheelchair dressed in drag. And then uh, so he was sued for $193,000 in legal fees and then also um, didn't forward his casework from Congress to his successor, but could be that maybe he hadn't done any work. And then also... Um, he was accused of having a, an inappropriate relationship with a staffer. Don't know if it was male or female. Doesn't matter. And um, and had apparently fourteen thousand dollars in fines uh, for uh, uh, inappropriate memes or un, uh, disallowed memes regarding crypto somehow. So anyway, these two are just a laugh, and I thought this video would be a laugh too. So we'll do that. Um, but still, even though it's, it's a little funny video, let's take just a moment <laughs> for meditation. Okay. So, George Anthony Duvald, uh, what's his name, Santos, or Katara Ravache, whichever you prefer. Let's have um, six cards uh, on this person and see what the, the cards can tell us. I mean, what an amazing, you have to feel sorry a little bit for this person to have to feel like he had to uh, recreate every aspect of his life. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Every aspect of his life and um, ashamed, I imagine, of where he came from. But look what he did. He got to Congress. I didn't get to Congress. So, first card for George Santos. Um, Queen of Wands. Well, that fits in with the drag queen situation. Wands are actions, plans, 
a forward movement, making things happen. This Queen of Wands, and this has to be the perfect deck, the Sideshow uh, Tarot, the Grand Sideshow Tarot. Um, this uh, is uh, the Queen of getting, making something happen. And you can see the wands right here that this um, person has as they're serving up a plate full of something scrumptious. See, and it's kind of who he is. He's serving up what he thinks you would like most. Okay, and then uh, going to get paid for it. Look at the hands right here, reaching out. Can't wait to grab hold of that. So the signifier is who he is, which is this Queen of Wands, Queen of making something happen, uh, giving you what he thinks you want. Okay, and the challenge to that then is this Six of Pentacles. Uh, the Pentacles right here, and Six of Pentacles is uh, Pentacles are money or value, and it's usually looking back to the past. Uh, wishing that things were the way they had been then, or maybe a fan, uh, fantasized past. And in this uh, card here, we see uh, this uh, person with two fistfuls of money uh, giving it out to the children, a little boy and a little girl. I guess now with what we know, they could both be Santos. And um, so maybe this, the challenge to him uh, being the queen uh, of wands is um, him uh, wanting a past that was more prosperous uh, than it really was. The uh, basis of this whole thing then with this Queen of Cups is compassion, emotion. Oh my God, this queen actually is a little masculine looking in the face as a matter of fact. But this Queen of Cups, the basis of this whole thing is that he is an emotional bundle, okay? That needs uh, some studying. In the past of this, for George Santo Kitara, whoever he is, is the Six of Cups. Wait, Six of Pentacles, I was wrong about this. Before I read this one, Six of Pentacles, is, a, as a matter of fact, is distributing the wealth, um, having the, the, the value and distributing it out. And now that makes me look at this card in a completely different way. So this could be a father who never uh, gave uh, those children uh, the value that they uh, perhaps should have had. You know, usually uh, troubled people have troubled pasts, and uh, and when you dig, scratch the surface enough, you can start to feel a little sympathy for them, perhaps. Um, and then, of course, then uh, we have this Queen of Cups. Uh, like I said, uh, just a bundle of emotion uh, or compassion. And, yeah. And the past of this, then, with the Six of Cups, and that's what reminded me that I had said this wrong is that cups are wanting things to be the way they were in the past and um, and again it's a clown show I think it's an imagined past in the sky of this reading well it is an imagined past he's made up everything about his past can't wait to see what happens in the future uh, in the sky of this is this ace of coins and we see here it's a tiny little offer of value it's not very much he's never going to um, amount too much although I can't wait to see what happens when he writes a book and it gets made into a movie because you know that's what's next right especially if he goes to prison that'll be uh, the the sequel um, the final outcome for George Katara Anthony Santos Ravache is um, this five of coins being left out in the cold and I would say that's probably a perfectly appropriate end to this story for George Santos. Now, let's talk about Madison Cawthorn. Okay, so he's the very handsome young, uh, I guess it was congressman, who um, uh, had a, an unfortunate accident. As a matter of fact, I read up on him and I, I did a, a video on him a long time ago. And uh, what happened is as a young man, of course he's uh, strikingly handsome and was very athletic and uh, not a nice person as a matter of fact kind of a as a young man a braggart and a showboat and uh, the way that he um, had this accident that caused him to uh, be in a wheelchair is apparently he was riding in uh, a car with a friend and he was sitting on the passenger side with his um, feet uh, up propped up against the dashboard in front of him okay as kids young people do and uh, the car was in an accident and then his feet got jammed back of course his legs and I guess that caused all the damage that caused him to not be able to walk anymore so tragic I mean really tragic and you think that uh, folks who have been through something like that might develop some sort of a but you know whoever you are no matter what happens to you you're still who that was you know a tragic accident doesn't 
we don't change. Whoever we're baked in at a certain age, that's who we are. And I would argue that uh, we are who we are before uh, we even leave the womb. Um, so um, that's what happened and in, 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 made him end up in a wheelchair. And then he fit in with this one because when I saw George Santos in drag, I remembered uh, that uh, Madison Cawthorn had that drag picture. You see it in the introduction uh, pictures and videos for this one here. So, um, so he's not been productive since he's left uh, Congress. And uh, let's see what the cards could tell us in six cards about what's up with uh, Madison Cawthorn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't believe that they found uh, those drag pictures on those two. So, Madison Cawthorn, signifier for Madison Cawthorn. Well, look at that. The cards are repeated. Queen of Cups. This fella is in need. He's another damaged soul. He is a pit of uh, emotional necessity. Okay? And again, this queen with sort of a masculine face. The challenge to this, then, is this king of swords. You know, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And this is the guy outside the show. He's trying to bring you in. You know, he's got that sword. It's kind of wrapped up in his, his cord, and he's using it like a microphone. And uh, so what does this say to me as a challenge to this uh, bottomless pit of uh, needed uh, emotion? It's trying to sell you a show to come into the tent and take a look at it. So he's all about, look at me. I'm going to tell you what I got. Come step right up. And uh, the basis of this whole thing for Madison Cawthorn, Ace of Swords. This is a great big, uh, and in this of... Uh, uh, offer of truth, justice, rules, and law, and you can see that it's in a very um, unsettling uh, background here. We've got uh, the posters on the wall here say "strange," uh, "ika," as in like screaming "ika," and then uh, lightning bolts, uh, cloudy skies, uh, stormy weather. This, if you can see it like I do, close up. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but this looks like a rainstorm coming down here. So the basis of this whole thing. It's just this really unquenched uh, need for truth and justice and rules and some law. The past of this for Madison Cawthorn, then with this Knight of Cups, is walking that tight rope. Uh, no pun intended. I mean, I know that he can't walk, but uh, this Cups are Emotion, the Knight of Cups, is a fighter uh, of the Royal Court for his remit, which is emotion at this point. And so his past is that he has felt himself to be a fighter and he still is fighting for that to get that cup filled up in the sky for madison cawthorn oh end of cycle you know death isn't death particularly or usually or sometimes even ever uh but it's uh, the a complete absolute end to a cycle and i would say yeah of course his, his time in the government is over unless he manages to get elected for something else but uh, yeah his cycle is kind of done I would be willing to guess that why, whatever reason he's on this earth for, he's collected uh, uh, whatever he needed towards um, that um, uh, remit, and uh, and that's the end of the cycle. And I'm going to guess that the rest of his life is going to be spent, kind of wasted. But the final outcome for Madison Cawthorn then is this Two of Wands, always trying to make those short-term plans for the future. So he will keep on keeping on uh, this Madison Cawthorn. So that's what I got for those two. Don't want to spend a lot of time on these. Like I said, it just seemed funny that I remembered that uh, since uh, Santos came up in drag, that Cawthorn had a picture like that. I'm sure it didn't mean anything. I'm sure it was just a, an innocent uh, night out in Vegas at one of the clubs. But it's fun to think about it. Hope that was fun. I'm uh, working on the videos for your of your requests, and if you have more, uh, write them down now, and I'll include them in that video probably in five to ten days. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook, 
uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well of the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that and then uh, he's done other things in his life and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful they're easy to use uh, the art on them is amazing and if you know your right away system you're not going to have a problem you know deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh, Legrand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these well coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now you really make a big difference. Thank you.